think Fever. what I need to do is I need to watch like a gameplay of, of the second game. <laughs> or just like a walkthrough. Yeah, Kid Icarus or something. Kid Icarus Uprising was great. If you're familiar with the way Sakurai made Kirby Air Ride and Brawl, then you would love this game a lot. Especially how long the game is and then all the collectibles and all the cool things it has. It's, it's great. I love it so much. It's a great 3DS game. It had its own competitive scene too for a very good while. I remember. There was a competitive scene for that game? Yep. It was actually kind of cool. I used to play it a lot. Did you speedrun it or did it have like a race? What was it? There's a versus mode. Really? Yeah, Kid Icarus did do Fortnite before Fortnite. Gao is right. It, it, it's it was kind of like a three v three team deathmatch, but you can you can have Sorry. weapons on you, but you can also find weapons on the stage. It was kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie, it was really really dope. And if you yeah, and if you didn't have those weapons on you, like if you if you wanted to get weapons, you can earn the weapons you earn in the story. You can use in multiplayer. So it was really sick. It had like a cool Monster Hunter vibe, where like. If you wanted a specific strong weapon, you just grind the single player so you can get the weapon that you want and then take it to multiplayer. It was really some great concepts all around. Alright. Terrible to... control screen. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'll have to take a look. Just You got me curious. But let's jump into the Losers Finals. Chunky Kong and Gao. Uh, let's see. Is this a rematch? No. Also, oh, not a rematch. No runbacks yet. But I don't think, uh, I don't believe, let's see, Dark Pit, da, 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 da. no, he played something else, okay, I thought that, uh, Gay would played a DK a little bit earlier in bracket, but sticking with the Dark Pit, you know, still trying to utilize the, the recent buffs that we saw on patch 8.0, as you can see, that so far it's working out. Yeah. Oh, he wanted the drag down. Yeah, but he didn't get it. In fact, it almost just kind of forfeited the stock for for Gaia, but okay, not gonna be able to make that back. Unfortunate missed tech for Chunky Kong. And with the lack of a horizontal recover or a vertical recovery from Chunky Kong, uh, even with that like medium percent, that's still gonna be a stock. Dude, Chunky is being shut down in, in a way that I have not seen him been shut down. Oh, no. Yeah, but even whenever like Chunky Kong does get shut down or he does get rolled, uh, it never like really slows his momentum down. Yeah, That's gonna have to be like one thing I love about Chunky Kong as a player is that his momentum ma he maintains it regardless if he's winning or losing. He's gonna run at you and he's gonna push buttons. <laughs> I just hate how like DK has basically a better version of Zangief's Red Tornado. <laughs> <laughs> like if Zangief had that move in Street Fighter, it would be the most broken thing ever. It's very opposite in Street Fighter V, where it, puts, it sucks you in, but DK's is just objectively better. I don't know, man. You imagine if DK sucked you in? If yeah, if 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 uh, if Zonkopter sucked you in, I would have very much preferred it because I can outspace it. Like anybody would do it against Zangief, but. In this game, it advances forward and it still has armor. And if Zangief did that, that'd be broken. Oh, I meant like if it does both. Oh, that'd, that'd be broken. Out of the way. <laughs> I still think, I still think, DK's Zonkopter on the ground is broken. Back air, that's gonna do it. Gale with two stocks here, and the taunt. He's telling Chunky, "You want to press buttons? Press them all night long, buddy. I'm here every Monday." Yeah, and for those wondering, uh, Gale does like uh black clover a bit do you like Pardon. it i think we talked about it yeah yeah he does he does yeah. i've seen his name in like discord um if you look at his twitter he's got like a, a black clover banner and oh, no. he's rocking the name asta here which is the main character's name what, what, what can you get quick synopsis what is it about i don't know i've never heard of it uh combine all the shonens into one and that's what it is god <laughs> <laughs> It's like if Naruto, uh, was it Blue Blue Devil or Blue Blue Exorcist, and one of the shonen all became one, and that's that's literally the anime. Okay, yeah, I guess I'll, 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 I'm, I'm, I don't know. I might watch an episode too. I don't know. I'm, I haven't seen anime in a minute. Oh, oh. the shonen. Yeah, the wind up punch. 
You can consider this death. Oh, he didn't get it. Got the shoulder hitbox. Justice. Yeah, usually those elbow hitboxes are, are kind of helping out the their characters, like with Roy and Krom and um, there's one other person who has it. But with DK, I don't know. It's kind of sent him at a wonky angle. Uh, Falcon has like a Falcon has Falcon has really good use from those. Oh yeah, Falcon too. Yeah, that was a strong start for Junkie Kong. I mean, even if he did like take Gao stock from a shield break, he still put 70 on him. And of course, gave him the foot. Easy, easy back airs here, 9%. Gale wants that stage control, he knows back air is gonna do it. He can read rolls from that. Ooh, one more time? Yeah, there we go. Read the recovery. Stop this man from landing. Where are you going? Yeah, but this is kind of the name of the game, right? As soon as, uh, like, Gale gets his momentum started, he's gonna attack on huge numbers onto DK. But when Chunky Kong gets a hit, like, it only takes, like, one or two hits and then. Whatever deficit Chunky Kong had, it's been made up. Yeah, if, if, if Chunky gets a down tilt, it's literally like, okay, cool, I get to make back a percent. But until then, like, you're on the receiving end. 126, man, if Gale can get the right hitbox out there, the right move, that's a dead, that's a dead gorilla. Yeah, 126, but at the same time, 75%. Yeah, they're both that kill percent. Oh, that's rolling right past the F smash. I gotta hand it to Gayo. He's got mad uh, bravery within him because he's he's actually blocked two of Chunky Kong's like side bees at the ledge, and he had like a skittle for a shield after. Also, some cojones, man. I'm telling you, I, I cheeks would have been clenched if that were me holding the controller. Nice neutral air into the back air, 49%. Like you said, right? Chucky Kong can very much take the stock here, but up until then, right, he's on the receiving end, and he's definitely on the receiving end for sure. I'm actually waiting for the moment that Chucky Kong starts utilizing more tomahawks uh, to kind of mix up Gao. Because we see him, like, throwing out these attacks onto Gao's shield, even, like, trying to cross him up. But the moment that Gao is at a high percent, and especially, like, close to a ledge or... All right, pretty much anywhere because you can either utilize the platform or run off stage. But oh, big wind up punch, still not enough to take the stock. But the moment that Chunky Kong starts utilizing empty hops is going to be where Gayo actually starts. Uh, it's going to become a lot harder. I'm so mad that that happens, but I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. The fact that I forget. You got hit with two wind up punches. Yeah, I, it, it's just a combination of, like, I had... <sighs> it's fine. <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> no, comment. It. Expl uh, no comment. No Nothing comment. Nothing for the record. <laughs> Nothing for the record, man. <laughs> what do I know? What a one apiece. I think, yeah, I think Dark Pit's still the, the, the pick for sure. There's no reason not to switch off Dark Pit unless he's going Palu. I would definitely advise against Hero. Just because DK can get in as much as Hero like as much as Hero wants to keep DK out or even mix him up. DK can get DK can definitely get in. Yeah, but don't forget like, you know, he also has the Palu. Yeah. Palu can also combo DK till the end of time. Okay, trading back airs. Players are keep going back and forth. But Chunky Kong is the one who has a uh, stage control. Percent 65 to 99. Oh, got caught with the arrow. I like it. Goes for electroshock arm. Safe, safe play here. Doesn't want to go too low. 
up air for 122. It's still even game here. Up smash does not hit. Of course, it is Battlefield. Yeah, high ceiling going to keep Chunky Kong alive a little bit longer, but another up smash will take care of that. Percent lead doesn't even matter, too, because Chunky Kong had two hits roll, and whatever percent lead Gale thought he had, it's over. Yeah, keep pushing. Yeah, you kind of have to push DK to the limit in order to start winning, effectively. Yeah, and I think after that we saw like Chunky Kong pretty much trade with the uh, the side B that Dark Bit has, essentially losing his stock. Um, we're gonna see him like a little more reluctant to go off stage and try and challenge Gao's recovery, outside of like trying to land a Dan Air. Yeah, see, we saw a horizontal recovery, and Chunky Kong just immediately backs off to tr uh, try and pressure the ledge. Yep. This stuff of Gale is to always go for this process, just because, like, if Chunky were to try to go for a grab or something on a shield, Gale's already away from it, and then he can punish him for letting go of shield. Yeah, good back air. Stops him from landing. He knows he wanted to go for a directionary dodge and landing to avoid getting hit. Oh, right before he got the armor on the start of frames. Careful when mashing that, bro. And Chunky Kong finally closing out the first stock with an up air. Still down a whole stock deficit. That's, while not impossible, it's still it's going to be difficult. Let's see, single back air connects. Okay, that's what Chunky Kong's looking for. Would have died there at 49 percent. That's the thing that hurts the most. I think I don't think the punch was wound up that much. You'd be surprised. I trust me. <laughs> this character DK commits nothing but highway robberies. Okay, well, speaking of robbery, it looks like DK got his mask on. He's, uh, he's coming for the money. Another up smash connects. I play this still smart, too. He may have a lead, but like I said, DK gets you two hits. Whatever lead you thought you had, it could be over. Especially with back air. That's a snipe? <laughs> yeah, go scope on that bow. Like Yo, man. He just shot him so far deep. He got him on the 360, no scope on Rust. Shoutouts to Modern Warfare 2, man. Those were the days. Alright, so I have to ask, do you know the no scope song? No. Oh boy. I, I feel like I do, I just don't know it was called the no scope song. song. I, I, you've heard of it. No, you would know. You... Would know, friend. Still, shout out to the Modern Warfare 2. Those are some good times, man. I'm, I'm putting it in Discord because you need to. You um, need to educate yourself. <laughs> I left the general instead of going to general chat. I'm upset. <laughs> I always do this. There you go. That doesn't look familiar then I am I am disappointed in you son the minute I saw Machinima I was like I know it <laughs> uh, let's see who's on winner's side it is Ashton a young link player who we will see in um, in probably like 10 to 15 minutes sorry dude just won't be watching Halo 3 Machinima dude. Those, those are my those are my those are my life back in the day. God, I just watched so many. All right, anyways, let's get back into it. Yeah, amazing start for for Gao. All right, I'm sorry, not Gao. Chunky Kong. Yeah, 106. Okay, now Gao's starting to fight back. Continues to push Chunky Kong off the stage. And that's really Gayo's green light to to put on as much damage as he possibly can on Chunky Kong. Look yeah, at that. He, you got him off stage at 20%, and by the time Chunky Kong landed, he took 60. Yeah. 
Which is where Gale wants to be in that situation, dude. Like, that's, that's what he really needs to make sure that every time Chucky tries to fight back, he is taking a significant amount percent. Like, Chucky started off with a great lead here, but like you said, right? He tries to come back on stage, Gale is just doing more percent to him as much as Chucky did to him. Good use of the back air though, like he's, he's mashing it, just it's not necessarily a bad mash because it's, it's got some good range, good damage, good speed, and it can actually kill and combo into one another. In my opinion, it's probably one of DK's best aerials. Oh, and another missed tech for Chunky Kong. I'm sure he was expecting just to, to land at the ledge and get his invulnerability, but getting pressure just a little bit too much with those back airs, Gale's gonna drop a stock. Yeah, I would have upper dash armed just because you can take the armor, you can do your back damage, and then you can get out of the electric for at the same time. The only thing you would probably want to worry about is if you got the right startup frames. Stuck in rapid jab? Can you get it? No. Yeah. Good, good spot. Ooh, I don't know where Gay was going, but that was a, an aggressive play from him. Grab Trying to cover there? the yeah. platform with, uh, with the side B, which if Chun Kong had landed on it, it would have been a, a great play. Wait for the landing? This is... Oh, he could have got a punish. Oh, that's his jump! Yeah, he either took the jump, snipe, stop him from coming back. Oh, I thought it was the third snipe. You needed that third shot. That's so crazy. Chucky comes in. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, you upper dash arm that, bro. That's how you get rid of back air. I kind of know the matchup a little bit from Smash 4. I, I used to hate this matchup. Well, yeah, you watch yourself. Use all the jumps oh. in the world. He overextended. Too low. Yeah, he overextended. For this matchup was painful. It's a pit. Like the only reason why DK won in Smash 4 was because it was just legit too honest. <laughs> yeah, he was a jump. Okay, well, even up the stocks, Chunky Kong needs to overcome Gale in order to keep his tournament life. Otherwise, Gale will be advancing to grand finals. Look at the momentum that we have, or the movement that we had from Chunky Kong. He loves to, like, retreat, dash dance, and then mix up his approaches. Okay, getting caught at the ledge. Oh, the pivot grab! That would have been bad close. news for Gayo. Yep, that was really close. The minute I saw him go for a down special, it was, I could tell what he wanted. Yep. Oh, that was good too because he could have broke the shield and he, the fact that he got it spaced. Alright, this is Gale's turn here. Can he get. The, oh, no cross up, no cross up. No, we don't cross up and air lands for Chunky Kong. We have Gale back at the ledge. Two frame does not connect with the F tilt. Now Gale on the approach. Yeah, good stuff for him using Electro Dash Arm uh, for Chunky, like I said. He's going to want to spam that back air no matter what because you can do a lot with it. Oh, there's that dash dance attack attack and oh assist from town and city yeah 101 to 144 forward air is that curtains and it is gale takes it and right now i'd be kicking myself for town and city because gale should have been off stage should have allowed chunky